Hey there! In this lecture, you are going to be learning how to design nice looking sign up form like this. As you can see, the sign up form is nicely centered on the browser's viewport and it has a header and three input fields as well as a button. I designed this form with the combination of Flexbox semantic UI CSS framework. Without further ado, let's go ahead and build this form. The first step is to create a signup view component and the route for it. The signup view is going to be the page based component. So create a file called signup.view inside the pages folder like so. For now, I'm going to create template tags and add the h1 tags with the create account text in it. Now, to show this component on the browser, we need to create a route. Let's go ahead and do that next. Go to the index.js file inside the router folder and import the signup view file at the top. Import space signup space from inside the codes at sign that will take me to the source directory slash pages folder slash the file name sign up and semicolon next create a new javascript object inside the routes array in here which will have two properties similar to the home route the first property is the path which is where i'm going to create the route url for sign up in this case slash sign up in quotes now i want to show the sign up component when a user goes to the sign up path so assign the sign up variable to the component property like so this sign up variable should be matched to the variable that we declared when importing the signup component at the top. Let's navigate to the URL on the browser and it works as expected. Perfect. The next step is to install the semantic UI CSS framework to the project. I'll be using this framework to design the signup form as well as the rest of the views in this course. We can use semantic UI CSS in two different ways in our project. One is using the CDN format, which is just grabbing the CSS link from the semantic website and pasting in it in between the header tags in the index.html file. The second option is to use the semantic UI NPM package. Now, I'm going to be using the second option to install the semantic UI. This will be a two-step process. The first step, which is installing the NPM package into the project. So open up the terminal and navigate to the project folder if you are not already, then run the command npm space i space semantic hyphen ui hyphen css hit enter once it's done the next step is to import this css framework into the project go to the main.js file add the import statement in there import space inside the double quotes semantic hyphen ui hyphen css slash semantic dot min dot css and semicolon switch back to the browser and i can see the h1 font looks bigger which ensures the semantic ui css framework is included in the project correctly next i'm going to center the form on the browser's viewport horizontally and vertically in the sign up view file, get rid of the h1 tags, create a section tag which will be the main container in this component. As you know, all the code 
will go inside a single component inside the template in view. So in there, I'm going to create a signup form container element. So do in there, create three semantic UI CSS classes, which are UI space segment and gray. The UI and segment classes create nice thin rounded borders around the form container. The gray class creates a thick gray border at the top of the container. And as you can see on the browser, it looks nice, but the signup form container takes the full width of the screen. Let's decrease the size. For that, I'm going to add a custom class after the gray class called signup hyphen form. Then after the template tag, declare starting and ending style tags. In there, create a rule for signup form dot signup hyphen form opening closing curly braces. In there, I'm going to set the width to 450 pixels semicolon. That looks a good size for the signup form, but it's left aligned. Let's make it centered horizontally and vertically to the browser's viewport. For that, I'm using Flexbox. The first thing we need to do is to make sure the signup form container's parent element is in full screen. This is because in Flexbox, you add CSS rules to the parent element to position the child element. Let's stretch the parent element's height, which is section element, to the browser's viewport. Inside the style tags at the bottom, create a new rule called section, opening closing curly braces, and set the height to 100 dh. Also, add the background color to light gray. I'm using pound sign EC, EC, EC as well so that we can see it fits to the screen and it looks great. Now we can easily center the signup form using just three flexbox CSS rules to the section parent element. The first one is display flex property. Then to center the form container vertically use align items center. Then center the form container horizontally use justify content center. Nice. Let's create a header next. Declare an H2 element with two semantic UA classes called UI space header. Add the create account text in it. Then make it center aligned. So inside the signup form, add text hyphen align to center. It looks nice. Next, create a form element with UI and form CSS classes, like so. Now, create another div with UI and segment classes, similar to the previous one, which will create a rounded corner. Then, add the stacked class, which will have a few border lines at the bottom of the element, like so. Now let's create the three input fields one by one. The first input field is full name. As you can see, the full name input field has an icon on the left side. Define a div element with the field class, which is default container when creating input field in semantic UI CSS framework. Then create another div with the few semantic UI CSS classes that will allow me to add an icon on the left side of the input field, which are UI left icon input. Nice. I find the normal size is small to me, so add class called big at the end. At this stage, all we have to do is to define the icon in this case, I'm going to be using the user icon as well as the actual input field. Declare the I element with two class names, user space icon. Then 
the input field with type attribute set to text and the placeholder attribute is set to full name. As you can see, there is no label for the input field. So the placeholder text will act as a label for the input field. And it looks great. One more thing worth pointing out here is you can actually look at all the available icons on the semantic UI CSS website and the link is in the description of this video. Next, let's add the email input field. Similar to the previous one, create a div with field class. Then inside there, create a div with UI left icon input big classes. Then I want to use the mail icon for this input field. So I element class mail space icon. Then the input field with type email placeholder text is going to be email as well. Finally, password. Do the same for the password. Again, create a div with the field class. Then create an, another div inside that div with UI left icon input big classes. Like so. For the password, I'm going to be using the lock icon. So I element with two classes log icon. Then the input field with the type attribute set to password and the placeholder attribute set to password as well. That's it. Now you can see the signup form coming together nicely. Next, the signup button. After the password wrapper div element that has a field class, declare a button element with two semantic UI classes, UI space button. This looks good, but I want to make this button bigger as well as red color. Add the big class to make it bigger and add the red class to make the background color of the button to red. Okay. How about making the button stretch both sides? Let's do that using the fluid class like that. Nice. It matches our final output. Normally, when you are in the sign up page like this, you will also see the login button somewhere in the bottom. Let's add that. Create a div after the ending form tag with three semantic UI CSS classes UI, message, and large. Inside the div tags, I'm going to say already have an account then anchor tags in there I'm going to add the login text like so switch back to the browser and it looks amazing even on the small screen now we have a nice looking sign up form but it does nothing the next step is to validate the user input data on the client side which is what I'll be covering in the next video. I'll see you there.